Order! 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 You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Been another tumultuous day for Mike Ashley, billionaire owner of Sports Direct. He's faced down a major revolt by shareholders at his company's AGM, who wanted a new independent chairman brought in. Just yesterday, he denounced improved pay and conditions for his staff, but today he faced fresh criticism from unions who wanted to do more. Our business correspondent, Helia Ebrahimi, was there. The last time cameras were here, they were carried by undercover reporters, exposing the company's harsh working conditions. Today, Mike Ashley was back, and a showman to the last, he subjected himself to the company's controversial stop and search, but then managed to pull out a wad of 50s. A lot of cash. Yes, I've been to the casino. For institutional investors, it was a bit like watching our pensions being bet all on black. You could win big, but you could also lose. And despite more than half independent shareholders voting to sack the chairman, Ashley was defiant to the last. His lieutenants would stay. I think I'm serious about change, and I think that the very fact that I'm prepared to try and help Keith, support Keith, as I hope Keith is with me, and together I think we will make some huge changes. It is disappointing, and my job, and my job with the company, is to show that in 12 months' time, they should have confidence in me. I deserve their confidence, and they will see a big change in this company. At one point in the AGM, there was this incredible moment. Mike Ashley burst into anger, and for a split second, you saw the real man, ferocious, willing to fight, and good at it too. Later, the chairman dismissed the incident, saying everyone had an outburst at some point. But privately, investors said it was very telling. To critics, Sports Direct appears more like a medieval court than a modern company, with Mike Ashley reigning supreme and surrounding himself with his chosen allies. His chairman, Keith Halliwell, is a former policeman with little business experience. 26-year-old Michael Murray, the boyfriend of Mr Ashley's daughter, runs the company's property empire. Last year, he was criticised for appointing 36-year-old Matt Pearson, seen as lacking experience. And his brother, John Ashley, is in charge of IT. The problem for shareholders is that Ashley retains a controlling 55% stake in the company, which means he's hard to vote down. And while it's pension pot money that has financed his empire, the normal city rules don't seem to apply. We've been pushing for change for three years. Nothing has changed in three years, and we don't think anything is likely to change in the next 12 months either. We were hoping that the company would be a bit more conciliatory at the AGM. Um, the fact that the chairman offered to resign and the board rejected that resignation uh, is incredibly frustrating considering shareholders have been very vocally calling for him to resign. The financial implications extend beyond Shirebrook. The share price tells its own story. Having peaked at just over £9 two years ago, Sports Direct now trades at around £3.24. But the bigger problem for the company remains its treatment of staff at the warehouse dubbed the Gulag. What we really have here is a business model that's based on exploitation. And that business model needs to be broken. I've got to be fair and I've got to stick Whatever the criticism, many shareholders accept Mike Ashley remains vital to the company he built now and in the future.